Hey guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build and to another installment of the Squish. Today, I am back building this eclectic tiny house on the island of Windenburg on the mid nowhere lot and this is a one bedroom lofted tiny home that comes in at 34,854 simoleons. If you guys would like to download this build it will be available on the sims 4 gallery if you search Griffy which is my origin id. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy and I will have a link in the description down below where you can access it on the gallery website if it's easier that way as well as everything I just said typed out. Uh, because I know sometimes it's hard to know how to spell something <laughs> just by hearing somebody say it. But anyway, right now we are messing around with the roof because I'm trying to figure out the best way to get this lofted area to work and have pretty skylights coming in and th there was a lot of fiddling, like definitely a lot of fiddling and this is a very colorful build. So the outside ends up having sort of a green roof and uh, also a gray roof and also a glass roof. There's a lot of different roof pieces that went into this and uh, some funky design decisions. Like right here I was like, ooh, what if I extend the roof down to meet up with a half wall and turn this into like a weird under roof planter situation? No idea why. I just thought it sounded fun and I really wanted to play around with different ideas and just kind of experiment a bit since I was going for more of an eclectic feel. And so this house does have sort of an A-frame vibe to it, but it only has this one extended down piece of roof in the front on one side. So it's it's not really an A-frame, <laughs> but that's, that's kind of the vibe it goes for here. And I'm playing around with color now. I'm trying to remember if I kept the wood. I'm pretty sure I did keep the wood on the outside and then I have this bright orange on this like planter piece down here which I quite like. I think I kept that but I, I just kept changing my mind about colors because I wanted it to feel kind of random and thrown together but I also wanted it to look cohesive and not just like a mess if that makes sense. So it's, it's like a weird balance to try and achieve. Messy, weird, doesn't really go together, but still somehow ties together in the end. So hopefully I achieved that. You guys can let me know. Um, the plants that just all popped in, uh, what was happening is I streamed this build over on Twitch uh, a week or so ago, and I didn't realize I wasn't recording for a moment as I was placing those plants. And I was like, uh, delete, undo, undo, undo. <laughs> so you could see that process happening. But over here on this side of the home, I decided to have a little bit of like a a deck area. It's not raised up. It's still flat on the ground, but I wanted to have a little bit of a deck space here for some chairs and a, is it called a bonfire? Is that what the item is technically called? I don't know, but I put like a little fire over there, which I'll be adding shortly with these funky chairs around it. And then I'm doing something a little strange, which is all sorts of floor tiles put down on the ground to be like a weird walkway over there. It's strange. This is probably the most uh, eclectic, uh, not sure how I feel about it part of the build. I was just experimenting with it and I kept it in the end because I thought it was different and I liked the color combo I was going for. It feels very autumnal and I am so excited for fall. Is it autumn yet? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for that weather. I can't wait for Halloween. Just autumn builds on the channel plus lots of spooky builds. I'm just, I'm just really excited and I feel like this uh, house definitely gave me those vibes. But over here I have some chairs and then that bench. I think that one's from City Living that has some sunflowers on it. I just really like the colors of it and adding some little shelves over by the front door. I also swapped out the scarecrow for this fountain. I, did I keep the scarecrow somewhere on the lot though? I don't remember. He might be some, oh yeah, he is. He's over on the, over on the right hand side now. Uh, so yeah, he stayed. <laughs> I quite liked him. Like I said, I was really feeling the autumn vibes with this. I feel like that's exactly what color scheme this is. And uh, working on the inside now, there is outdoor lighting in part of this. Sometimes I can fix it and it, it's, it's fine. Uh, but today was not one of those times. So the living space has outdoor lighting, unfortunately. But the kitchen and the bathroom and stuff are all good. But this is going to be the lofted bedroom space. I did play test it. It is shoved against the wall though. So you can have one or two sims depending on if scooting works in your game or not. Uh, but there are, it's just that one lofted bedroom. And then there's a bathroom downstairs. And then this is the living space. Once again, playing with lots of color. I used this couch from Parenthood because 
it's got really fun colors to it and I used a bunch of these collages of images as well. They're some of my favorites. I just thought they really pulled together the idea of having a lot of different things hung up on the wall, kind of all over the place in lots of different colors. So quite enjoyed that. I ended up using the TV stand unit thing that came with Tiny Living. I thought about having like a bigger wall hung TV, but this felt like it fit the space a little bit better. And I ended up putting a bookcase next to it, I believe, and some knitting stuff in here as well. I thought that could be a fun hobby. And uh, maybe you can then decorate the rest of the house with all the strange knitting projects you've done. I can imagine I, there would be some fun ones. I know there's not like anything too wacky in The Sims for Nifty Knitting. I know there's like the, I don't remember what it's called, but the, the bobbly sweater and hat that are kind of messed up versions. And I think you can mess up on a lot of the projects. So there's messed up versions of that. I feel like those would fit really, really well in this house. Uh, but over here, I really wanted to have an accent table with this particular lamp. Uh, I feel like these things were a collective thing we decided in chat. They were like, you need like a statement accent table next to the couch. I was like, yeah, and we need a statement lamp and I know just the one. So uh, I really enjoyed that. I also used this coffee table that I never use. Is this from backyard stuff maybe? But it's, it's in a different tone, like a different wood tone than the couch, but it's the same one that is on the bookcase and part of the TV stand. And I just thought it looked so nice, especially with that pop of like a peachy, pinkish, coral, so many different colors. I asked in a different build what that color is called because I used it on the walls in an entire room in the uh, uh, color block department. And I got so many different responses and I'm still like, okay, well, I still don't know what that color is. But we're using it again today because I think it was really pretty and it really stood out in here. I also really enjoyed this door that we're using as the front door. Uh, is that from movie hangout stuff? I'm not sure. It might be. I felt like that worked really well. And of course, using my favorite cabinets in the kitchen from Parenthood, I uh, don't remember what color combo I went with in the end. I'm pretty sure I kept the blue on the bottom, but I don't remember if the cabinets stay this color or not. But I was having fun mixing and matching the colors in here and uh, throughout the whole build, really, just making it kind of funky and fun. And did I keep the yellow wall with the blue cabinets? I might have. I guess we're, we're watching together to find out. Okay, now the wall is blue. Ooh, what are we gonna do next? <laughs> Sometimes I don't remember all of the decisions because I keep changing my mind over and over. All right, oh wait, yeah, we put this wallpaper in here. This one is from Jungle Adventure. I think that came out really cute. And then I add one of these tables, I think in the mint color in the end from Eco Lifestyle as our little dining table. I think I'm gonna swap that out. The yellow felt too, like too, like too much. It was just a little bit too much in here. So I should be swapping that out shortly uh but first we're just playing with the cabinets some more and swapping now there it is i fixed it it's a little bit better i think with this more muted color uh i like it a lot more anyway uh, but that's pretty much it for the kitchen i think other than some decorations up on these shelves with some spices and what have you i feel like i always put the same stuff on shelves because we only have so much in the regular catalog i know there's all kinds of like bowls and plates and glasses and stuff you can get in debug but i wish we had more of that stuff that wasn't debug i would love it if they gave us kitchen clutter in a pack that would be great I would love some glasses and some plates. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but just cluttering up the counter some more. I put a birdhouse on the counter, which I just, I found it in the catalog and I jokingly was like, you know what? I mean, everybody has a birdhouse in their kitchen, like a kitchen birdhouse. And I was actually surprised a few people in chat were like, oh yeah, I have that because I was completely joking. So let me know, do you have a birdhouse on your kitchen counter? Because I have no idea, like I had no idea that was a thing or maybe it's not a thing. I don't know, but let me know. <laughs> That's a really weird thing to be like, this is what I'd like you to comment on this video about. Do you have a birdhouse on your kitchen counter? I'm very, very intrigued. Uh, but this is the bathroom. It's very red right now, but I do end up switching it out for one wall in this mint, one wall in yellow, and I love this bathroom. I think it's just so fun, especially with that mirror. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's just something about it. Oh, I also added a Grim Reaper toy on the sink so it can watch you poop. But anyway, we are up into the loft space now using more of these paintings like I did downstairs and just having a lot of fun with color up here. Also, much like the Grim Reaper downstairs, we have one kind of strange, well, two kind of strange objects up here. The first of which is the tragic clown painting. I 
advise you not to look at it, not to have your sims engage with it, unless you really want a creepy clown to follow you around because that's what you're gonna get if you interact with that painting. I thought I would explain that because uh, I know not everyone has used it. And then this is the other creepy thing. We have like a, I'm gonna get you, bear gnome over there. So uh, that, that's what I think he's saying when I look at that stance is, I'm gonna get you. So uh, I don't know why I put that. I just thought it was kind of fun and weird and I was having fun with this build. So um, if you don't want the creepy bear, gnome or the uh, tragic clown painting, you can easily delete those. I, I understand completely. I will not be offended. Uh, but honestly, you guys can like renovate any of my builds. That's totally cool. Uh, I obviously don't expect everything I build to be exactly the family you were thinking of or the home you were thinking of. Um, I think it's really cool that I can just build these things that I have a lot of fun with. Sometimes you might be like, oh, I really like that. I want to play with it. Sometimes you might just be like, oh, that was kind of cool to watch. I got these cool building ideas and uh, I have no idea what you do with the builds. And uh, if you'd ever like to share what you do with them, if you ever do any renovations or have a family living in one of them, please tweet at me. I do check Twitter quite a lot. Um, yeah. That's the place to contact me. Not not Instagram DMs, because I forget those exist for like six months at a time. And then people get mad at me and are like, you're ignoring me, don't forget me. I don't check Instagram DMs and I go, don't get notified when people message me. So tweet at me. Okay, anyway, we're going to screenshots. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.